hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm just going to be i guess throwing together a what would i call it mm, a beginner's acrylic nail kit kind of sort of not really because you know a more experienced person like myself uses all of this stuff anyway I'm just show you all the products that you need to complete a full set. All right. So first off, if you're going to be doing acrylics, the one thing you need to know is that it takes time, it takes patience, and you have to be willing to learn. Me, myself, personally, I was blessed with the ability to catch on to things very fast because I got this right in my first try. Everyone isn't going to get this right in their first try. You're going to need some of these things. You don't have to get all of them. Like, these two is pick and choose. I really don't use these anymore. I like using these for cutting and uh, making the shape of my tips. But you can use these. A lot of people use these when they're first starting off. So, yeah, you can either use the scissors or the tip cutters. These were a dollar and these were three dollars, I think. And I got these from AliExpress and these from Amazon. So, yeah. Prep work. You're going to need a cuticle pusher and a nail clipper. I do most of my, you know, prep work with my drill but yeah you're still gonna need these i like to use this to push back the dead skin on my nail better known as the cuticle and also the epinichium a lot of people tend to get that mixed up this back here is the epinichium this that grows on your nail is the cuticle and a lot of people t tend to get that mixed up and they think that people are hurting themselves when they're really not so yeah these are just simple you use these for a regular manicure even if you don't do that right, next buffers and files and you know the finish work um these just come from sally's it's the 100 100 grit beauty secrets nail uh files these are pretty popular i use these for you know shaping the nail tips and after applying the acrylic, I use it to, you know, reshape the nail because I do have a drill. But if you don't have a drill, I'm pretty sure you're not going to have a drill when you're first starting off. I would hope not because if you don't know how to apply acrylic, what are you doing using a drill that can hurt you? Anyway, so, yeah. I recommend these for finish filing, but only if you're application is pretty decent now if you have lumps and bumps everywhere this is gonna take forever like let's just be honest it's gonna take forever for you to file that product down so you might wanna step up and get this you know uh, this is o this is okay but this speed things up a lot and I actually still use it for when I go over someone else's house and do their nails but yeah and you just want to sit down and practice using this not on someone else not even on yourself practice it on a nail tip or something you know so I would advise getting one of these you don't have to but it's like seven dollars five something on AliExpress I don't know so yeah and then just a buffer. Use this to smoothen out the nail after finish modeling. So, yeah. All right. What else? Um, you're gonna get some drill bits with your drill. Um, I only use this for when I'm going over someone else's house, but when I'm at home, I use this pink drill that looks like this so yeah but yeah you're gonna get some drill bits the drill bits i would say you need to stick to when you're first starting off is 
probably this cuticle cleaning bit that you get and then the sandy man you can cut yourself really bad with the sandy man but it, it would be a lot worse if you bought one of these drill bits and tried to do your finished filing or whatever on. so yeah just stick to the basics and don't try to jump in head first because you're gonna hurt yourself trust me i know even though my acrylic application was fine when i was first starting i still ended up cutting my stuff so, so yeah just be careful um okay that fell just use another one so um this is a manicure cleaning brush and you just use this to remove dust and clean the nails blah 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 um you can use like a little brush to clean up around the cuticles when you're done polishing um paper towels and cotton rounds you can use either for wiping your brush after uh using your acrylic so yeah you can use these and i just get both from dollar tree i like to buy a lot of my stuff from dollar tree not just nail stuff almost everything but yeah dollar tree is really good for supplies so then you have the acrylics this is the one that i use the mia secrets and it's not hyped up i really like it and i get why everyone raves about it because it's amazing but this is also amazing this is what i kind of started off with not really because i really started off with the cheap stuff from amazon or aliexpress and then i jumped into this you know once i realized that that cheap mess was cheap mess i decided to get this and as you can see it's pretty low because i used the mess out of it and as you can see it's like stuff around it because i didn't have a good brush yet i just recently got a good brush i used to use the brushes that had this little pattern on it don't waste your money or your time girl you're just gonna get frustrated but yeah I really like this is by super nail you know super nail has a variety of stuff they have cuticle oil cuticle remover powder liquid acetone they have a lot of stuff so and it's cheap I think this was seven dollars or something but yeah I really like this not too much to say. I still use it um monomer I just put it in a squeeze bottle I get these little squeeze bottles that my local beauty supply for like a dollar and I really like them because it makes it way easier to pour the stuff in there instead of wasting your money and wasting your product all right um as for like the liquid stuff kind of little stuff that you put on your nail nail glue that's a given you're gonna have to use nail glue um pH bond. This is just dehydrator. Uh, basically acetone, but you know, we gotta be extra. So, yeah. And then top coat. You're gonna need that for your nails. I use gel top coat, but yeah, I ordered my gel polish, by the way. I ordered 100 bottles, and I'm so excited for them to get here. So, yeah, totally off top bit, but of course you're gonna need some nail tips um i really 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 like the nail tips from aliexpress um i shop on amazon but not as much as aliexpress i shop on aliexpress a lot but i did order some tips from amazon and i really don't care for them because they don't have the numbers and stuff in the tips you know that's not really a problem but I don't know i just feel like the aliexpress tips are a lot better but that's just a personal opinion and they're cheaper so yeah you can't go wrong if it's cheap and it works good so yeah these are just tips you can get the case from walmart or you can buy it online it's a lot cheaper online these were like four dollars but i'm going to be using the same two all the time so right you're gonna need some alcohol use that for sanitizing and all of that 
cuticle oil you use that after i actually ordered the gelish nourish because this stuff gets everywhere and i don't know what i'm going to do with this oil after i uh get my nourish but whatever i'll just figure that out once i get it and lastly well almost lastly because you're gonna need a brush too what am i thinking this video is all over the place um this is just the panel brush i recommend this for beginners and you know more uh not professional i'm not a professional and i don't plan on being a professional but i recommend this for beginners and more experienced people like myself so yeah this is a really good brush it's size eight and i really love it it does not clog at all and that's one of the main things that i love um now lastly a dampen dish or shot glass i use the shot glass but he use a dampen dish it really doesn't matter so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye